Hi, I'm Stephanie, and today we're going to talk about one of the most important skills for a motorcycle rider, making a hard stop in an emergency. Let's go over the basics while the bike is parked before we actually try an emergency stop. Sometimes these are called panic stops, but that's not a great idea. The whole point here is to stay calm and collected and bring the bike to a quick halt in a straight line. First, I'd like to talk about how to brake on a bike without ABS. If you panic and grab the brakes too hard, you risk locking up one of the wheels and it's especially dangerous if the front wheel locks up because you can lose directional control. So if you feel the front wheel start to lock, you immediately release the brake and then reapply the front brake. Keeping that in mind, you don't want to be afraid to use the front brake. It provides 70% of your stopping power. Just remember, use a progressive squeeze of the front lever to allow load to transfer to the front tire, which allows you to use all the stopping power. Now, if I was riding a bike equipped with ABS, I would squeeze the brake lever, but I wouldn't need to release the lever because the ABS system helps to match the available traction with the wheel speed. ABS equipped bikes will help with variations in available traction, but practicing good braking habits is fundamental to stopping quickly and should always be practiced at all times. The procedure for a locked up rear wheel is just the opposite. You wanna stay on the rear brake and keep the bike moving in a straight line by gently turning the front wheel in the direction that the wheel is sliding. However, it's better to avoid the skid altogether, so practice rear braking in a safe place, modulating the rear brake pressure to get the most braking out of the rear wheel. Again, ABS will help with this. It's still better to use good braking skills and have the ABS in the background waiting to help. But remember, the best way to avoid all of that is to always be ready. Use the C strategy whenever you ride. This stands for search, evaluate, execute. Search the area ahead of you for hazards or potential dangers. Evaluate. Predict what might go wrong and get ready to react. If you see a situation developing, cover the front brake and clutch levers and cover the rear brake pedal. Depending on the situation, you may also want to ease off the throttle. And finally, execute. If you've gotten the first part of SEE right, you'll be able to make an adjustment to lane position or slow down to create more space and to avoid the hazard. But sometimes maximum braking is the only option. Apply both front and rear brakes at the same time firmly but smoothly. Look straight ahead and not at your front wheel, not at the pavement. Keep the front wheel pointed straight ahead and remember to pull in the clutch and downshift all the way to first so your engine won't die if you need to make a quick getaway after your stop. This last point is super important. On a bike, you're often able to stop faster than the traffic behind you, so make sure to watch your mirrors and be ready to accelerate away quickly if you see trouble coming in from the rear. So let's give it a try. We want to do this on an empty stretch of road or a large parking lot so we don't create an emergency for others. Remember, SEE. I'm scanning the road ahead, searching for possible hazards. You see that orange traffic cone? That's going to represent a potential trouble. So I cover my brakes in anticipation of a stop. I decide the hazard is real, so I execute. Firmly apply both brakes at once, keeping your eyes straight ahead. Pull in the clutch lever and downshift to first. If you have a newer bike with ABS, that will help keep the wheels from locking up, but the basic technique is the same. You should practice stopping hard enough so the ABS kicks in, so you know what it feels like. Some riders have been confused by the pulses of the ABS and they let up on their brakes at a really inopportune moment. So let's review. Remember to search, evaluate, execute. If you have to stop fast, don't panic. Apply both brakes firmly and smoothly. Pull in the clutch and downshift. Check what's happening behind you and be ready to accelerate away from any potential danger. If you have an ABS equipped motorcycle, don't rely on the ABS in place of good braking skills. Practice maximum braking periodically to ensure your braking skills are tip top. And always, always enjoy the ride.